Let's talk about an interesting topic that's often debated in the fitness world. Should you drink cold water during your workouts? Many of us reach for a cold bottle of water to refresh ourselves while exercising. But did you know that it might not be the best choice? In this video, we'll explore why drinking cold water during workouts isn't ideal. We'll break it down into simple terms and cover everything you need to know. First up, let's talk about energy. Our bodies work hard to maintain a stable internal temperature of around 37 degrees Celsius. When you drink cold water, your body needs to warm it up to this temperature. This warming process requires energy. Here's the science. To raise the temperature of one liter of water by one degree Celsius, your body uses about one kilocalorie. If you drink water that's at fridge temperature, meaning around four degrees Celsius, your body needs to raise its temperature by 33 degrees to reach 37 degrees Celsius. That means your body uses about 33 kilocalories just to warm up that cold water. While 33 kilocalories might not sound like much, it's roughly the amount of energy in six to seven grams of potato chips or a small piece of chocolate. So your body is expending extra energy just to warm up the water. During exercise, your body is already working hard and adding this extra task can be an unnecessary burden. When you exercise, your body needs to use all available energy efficiently to keep your muscles working, maintain endurance, and support overall performance. If your body is busy warming up cold water, it diverts some of this energy away from your muscles and other critical functions. Studies have shown that consuming cold water during exercise can lead to a slight decrease in performance. One study published in the Journal of Sports Sciences found that athletes who drank cold water experienced a small but noticeable drop in their endurance levels. This happens because the body is using energy to warm the water instead of fueling your workout. Next, let's discuss how drinking cold water can negatively impact your digestion during workouts that may hinder your performance. One of the main reasons is that cold water can constrict the blood vessels in your digestive system. This vasoconstriction makes it harder for your body to effectively process the water and nutrients you've consumed. As a result, you may experience uncomfortable symptoms like stomach cramps or bloating. Imagine trying to power through a tough workout with a nagging cramp in your belly. Not fun, right? Your body is highly efficient at prioritizing blood flow to where it's needed most. During exercise, a significant portion of your blood is directed towards your working muscles and skin to facilitate movement and cooling. But what happens when you drink something very cold? Your body has to divert some of that blood flow to your digestive tract to manage the temperature of the water. This shift in blood flow can slow down digestion, making you feel sluggish or even nauseous. Research supports this notion. A study conducted on athletes found that drinking cold fluids during high-intensity exercise could lead to gastrointestinal discomfort. Participants in the study reported feeling bloated and experiencing cramping, which ultimately hindered their ability to perform at their best. The cold temperature of the water they consumed seemed to be a contributing factor to their digestive woes. Cold water can also affect your respiratory system, especially if you have conditions like asthma. Drinking something cold can cause your airways to constrict making it harder to breathe. This is the last thing you want when you're in the middle of a tough workout. A study in the American Journal of Respiratory and Critical Care Medicine found that cold air or fluids can lead to bronchoconstriction, which is the narrowing of the airways. About 40% of asthmatic individuals in the study showed a significant decrease in lung function after consuming cold water so if you have any respiratory issues, it's better to stick with room temperature water during your workouts. Let's not forget about our muscles. Drinking cold water can also affect your muscles during workouts. When you exercise, your muscles generate heat and become warm. This warmth helps improve muscle flexibility and performance. Cold water can cool down your core temperature too quickly, which might affect muscle efficiency and increase the risk of strains or injuries. Muscles perform optimally when they are warm and well supplied with blood. Cold water can cause blood vessels to constrict, potentially reducing the blood flow to your muscles. This can lead to muscle stiffness and slower recovery times, making it harder to maintain peak performance throughout your workout. Research has shown that drinking cold water 
can lead to a decrease in muscle performance. One study indicated that participants who consume cold water during their workouts experienced reduced strength and endurance compared to those who drank room temperature water. This suggests that the cooling effect of cold water may hinder muscle function and overall workout effectiveness. Now, let's talk about the heart. Drinking cold water can impact your heart rate during exercise. When you drink something very cold, it can stimulate the vagus nerve, which runs down the back of your throat. This can cause a sudden drop in heart rate known as the vagal response. While this is usually temporary, it can be uncomfortable and may affect your workout intensity. A stable heart rate is crucial during exercise to maintain endurance and performance. Sudden changes in heart rate can make it difficult to keep a steady pace and may even cause dizziness or lightheadedness. For those with existing heart conditions, this response could be more pronounced and potentially harmful. Studies have shown that consuming cold beverages can lead to a significant decrease in heart rate during exercise. In one study, participants who drank cold water experienced a notable drop in heart rate compared to those who consumed water at room temperature. This response can be particularly concerning for individuals with cardiovascular issues. So, what's the solution? What can we do to avoid these issues? Well, here are some easy tips to help you stay well hydrated during your workouts without dealing with the downsides of drinking ice cold water. First and foremost, aim for water that is cool, around 10 to 15 degrees Celsius rather than freezing cold. This happy medium helps cool your body down without causing the digestive discomfort or respiratory issues that very cold water can trigger. It's also crucial to listen to your body's cues. If you find that you consistently feel discomfort, cramps, or any other unpleasant symptoms after drinking cold water during your workouts, it's a clear sign to switch to room temperature water instead. Your body knows best, so pay attention to how it responds and make adjustments accordingly. Another important consideration is to ensure you're well hydrated before you even start your workout. Drink plenty of cool or room temperature water in the hours leading up to your training session. This way, you're beginning your workout with optimal hydration levels, which can help you power through your routine without needing to rely on cold water during the actual workout. And don't forget about post-workout hydration. After you've pushed your body to its limits, be sure to rehydrate with cool, refreshing water. Your muscles will thank you. You can even add some electrolyte-rich fruits like bananas or berries to your post-workout smoothie for an added boost of hydration and recovery. So, while drinking cold water might feel refreshing, it can actually lead to several negative effects during your workouts. The energy your body has to expend to warm up that cold water, along with potential digestive discomfort, respiratory issues, and even negative impacts on muscle performance and fluctuations in heart rate, all point to the fact that cold water may not be the best option for hydration while exercising. If you found this information helpful, we'd love for you to subscribe to our channel and share it with your friends and family. Remember, staying hydrated is key to your health and fitness journey. So take care of your body and enjoy every step of the way.